or what kind? And actually, he finally had to say, oh, not raw, of course, but um, at one point, the jury had to leave because the prosecution almost showed some of the, that information about what the product was. So I think the jury's getting it. I hope they are, but I also hope that the prosecution isn't um, isn't doing so much to narrow what's going to the jury that it dissuades them. And and that's the point that was I was going to make is because the prosecution's only giving the jury maybe ten percent of the story, the rest of the story, the truth of the matter, still hasn't come out. So the one of the interesting that happened things that happened today there was one witness who uh, testified to the application process of the milk production, being a milk producer and uh, selling to plants, which Vernon was for a while. He had chosen to sell to plants and then chosen to let his license lapse. And the application that was brought in, the state only put in the front page of it. And the witness, the state witness, actually on cross-examination, we introduced the second page to the application. And what was interesting, the, the witness looked at it and Glenn, it was actually, for me, really funny, but <laughs> I don't know if anybody else got the humor. I, 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 I didn't quite, so. I, I didn't fully understand it. I, I think it may have gone yeah. by a lot of people. So, so, so one of the exhibits was this first page introduced by the state, and then we, um, Glenn, introduced a the rest of the document. So the state had chosen to only show part and partial bits of the application. And Glenn asked the witness, well, do you recognize this document as page two of the application? And you know, is this all of the application? Isn't it only half of what you were given? And she looked at it and she said, no. And he, he was startled and said, oh really, well, why is that? Or something along those lines. And she said, well, it's only a quarter of what I should have. So really, it just, I think, I hope the jury picked up on it, but it drove the point home that the state is choosing to only show 25% of reality. Well, I, I, I got that feeling, I actually wrote down, I think that he sent the jury out three or four times today. Right. And I, one of the, I don't know, the second or third time, I, I wrote a note to myself, uh, I wonder if the jury, jurors uh, are asking themselves, what am I not hearing? You know, what are, what are they not telling me? And, and juries, I don't know what the state thinks because the state and the judge, I, they are constantly referring to misleading the jury and not letting the jury have all of the full information. And juries aren't dumb. No. Juries are people yeah. and they're very smart. They pick up on a lot. So it'll be very interesting to see how and what they've picked up upon, because I don't know if you noticed this, but at one point there was an introduction of the um, price list or the you know list of things that were at the farm. And on that list, when the state brought up the list, at one point it actually said raw cheese. I don't know if you noticed that. I didn't. I, it was hard to see it from. from yeah, the I'm a little bit yeah. closer. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, and, and at one point, um, they were also bringing up, they read at the bottom of one of the lists that it was a members only. So, um, one of the things that I was asked by somebody was, well, the state's trying to bring about that it's members only, but it's like a Costco or like a Sam's Club. <clears throat> and that's simply not true. But we're not going to be able to show that with the state's witnesses. That no, but I think, but I, think uh, I think I don't know. I, I don't think that's a very productive tactic because it. it um, uh, who was it? Um, Glenn made that point in his opening statement that it's not. And I think he refuted it pretty well. But they, they keep insisting on it, and uh, but I think it, it'll be a it, it'll it'll be um, contested more as the uh, state as the um, defense witnesses come on board come out. Uh, what any idea uh, you know what the schedule is looking forward i mean when how long how much longer do you think the prosecution has to go here well the witness that's currently on 
the stand now and going to be cross-examined tomorrow and the direct is not yet over. So right. that witness will take a while. Is that the last, their last witness? I, I do not do they, know. They don't have to give you a list of They the give witnesses? us a list. But, but they don't give you the order in which they come on? Or? Well, it's also difficult to determine. Sometimes witnesses can come at certain times or a lot of the time they just simply won't have people that are on the list. Right. So, so they, they haven't given you a schedule of we're going to have this, the, the, these, somewhat, these three witnesses today are somewhat, you know, but it's not. It's not. Um, it's difficult to determine. It's not. I, I don't want to say it's not accurate. It's just you can't speculate as to how long it will take. And as you noted, the jury had to get up and leave two or three times at the request of the of the state. So at the state's request, because of so many objections and so many issues with their case you know, the truth coming out right. about their case, they didn't want it to go in front of the jury. So they said, well, Your Honor, you know, please, I, I need a moment where we need to discuss this issue. And they would send the jury out, and then, what is that? That's another probably half an hour plus Right, so they, they, they kind of sit there, they sit there and twiddle their thumbs. And uh, um, I, I, I thought it was um, interesting that, I think Glenn kind of drove that point home when he said, uh, he, he made the argument, I think, in front of the jury that he wanted, uh, why couldn't they see the whole uh, unredacted uh, um, report? Right, and, 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 and actually, <clears throat> it did get in, but then look at what is happening. The holding order that's being I mean, introduced, yeah, the holding order. that's completely redacted. Right, right. So there are many objections and already we're about to get into those issues, but just to give some of you that may not know, there was a holding order that was placed that uh, they're claiming in count four was violated. And when they're actually introducing the exhibit, instead of allowing the truth to come out, about a quarter of the page has black marker just all through it. So it's quite interesting to watch and to be a part of. Why don't we open things to questions? Mm -hmm.